Hey, yo, what's good? So, Carl Froch officially announces his retirement from boxing, and we kind of saw this coming. I mean, he hasn't fought since May of last year, and he only fought once last year, and he's been fighting only, he only fought twice in 2013. You know, I think the only reason he fought the last year was to rematch Groves in that fight that was extremely close. The first fight <laughs> that he came from behind that knockout. So he announced on his Twitter earlier, he says, I'm officially retired from boxing. So, so much to say and so many people to thank. But for now, I just want to say thank you to my amazing fans. So Carl Froch has, I mean, Carl Flatch has had a good career, a 12-year career. He turned pro in 2002, and he's basically fought a who's who. And since 2008, when he beat John Pasquale for the super middleweight ch title, the WBC, you cannot accuse him of ducking anyone, man. He's probably had the best, one of the best resumes in boxing of the last few years. And that's why he was on so many pound for pound lists recently. I mean, before his recent hiatus. Watch, 2008, he fought John Pasquale. And then 2009, Jermaine Taylor. He, this is when the Super Six starts. He fights Jermaine Taylor. And he scored a spectacular. 12 round knockout where he was down on points and just knocked him out that last round brutally. Jermaine Taylor, Andre Durrell beats an undefeated Andre Durrell. Michael Kessler, first loss of his career. Arthur Abraham, Arthur, this is an Arthur Abraham with only one loss, and that loss was by disqualification against Andre Durrell, in which he hit him when he was down. Glenn Johnson, who's a tough. Gatekeeper, Andre Ward, his second loss of his career. Lou Shambute, fifth round knockout. Yusef Mack, Mikhail Kessler, and two fights with George Groves. That's a pretty deep resume and a very tough, very tough run right there. Um, People say he's Hall of Fame. I'm, I'm happy enough to say he's had a very good career and made a lot of money. But I I don't know I don't I don't see him being a Hall of Famer in my book. I mean he's fought a, a lot of good fighters. He's a two-time world champion. But I mean, really, like uh, Jermaine Taylor or Andre Durrell, he he is a very exciting fighter, a very good fighter, and I will say the toughest. The toughest white boy I seen fight in the ring, man, with a hell of a chin. One of the best chins in boxing in the last ten years, man. Never was knocked out. He was dropped by by George Groves, but not he couldn't get him out of there. He was too green, I think. But yeah, he, Carl Roach is a very good fighter, and he deserves the praise for his career. Never ducked a soul. Don't even come out here saying that he ducked Triple G, man. He he's on the he was on the last end of his career, and he was contemplating retirement, and he retired. If if you considered a duck retiring instead of fighting, then you could go ahead and say that. Like a lot of people say, Lennox Lewis retired instead of fighting Vitaly Klitschko, but I think he retired because. That was a tough fight, and he just realized that he can't hang with these young guys anymore. That's why he retired. It wasn't. It wasn't to. It wasn't to avoid a Klitschko rematch. It was just because he was getting too old for it. I think Groves, Carl Froch realized that when he fought George Groves, who was definitely not on his level, but he got cracked and he got dropped by a George Groves. And a lot of that has to do with his age. But yeah, he's fought a who's who in the last few years. 
um, beating a, a lot of undefeated fighters like John Pascal, Andre Durrell, Lucian Butte, George Groves. So, I mean, great, great, very, very good career. Very impressive. The toughest of the tough from Nottingham, England. But Hall of Famer, I don't know. Because before that, he wasn't really fighting, you know, killers. So out of his 35 fights, and I'm counting you, Seth Mack. If you don't want to count him, then you don't have to. but Because that's his weakest fight, if you want to call it that, since 2008. John Pascal, Jermaine Taylor, Andre Durrell, Mikhail Kessler, Arthur Abraham, Glenn Johnson... Andre Ward, Lucian Butte, Yusuf Mack, Michael Kessler, George Groves. That's one. Th- I'm counting fights. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve fights for world titles. For world title fights, twelve world title fights. Does that merit a world? I mean, a Hall of Fame induction. You 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 have to argue in the comments. I personally don't believe it does. I mean, it was in a row. And I'm not knocking him as a fighter. I'm saying he's had a hell of a career. No one could say he's a bum or ducked anyone. That's what I'm saying. But to say he's a Hall of Famer, I think that's wrong. That's just me. But yeah, so Carl Froch officially announces his retirement. He is no longer going to fight and we're no longer going to see... He's very entertaining scraps because he's a tough, tough dude, man. Like I said, one of the toughest fighters. Even, not even toughest white boys, you know, but the toughest fighters in recent memory as well. I believe that. But to me, he doesn't marry the Hall of Fame. Maybe if he got that Joe Kazagi fight. Maybe. That would have been like his um, Jim Jeffries, Jack Johnson reference. Anyway, yeah, everybody, thanks for watching. And what do you think about Carl Froch's very good career? Do you think that it merits a Hall of Fame induction? Leave it in the comments below. Please, you know how much I love your comments and appreciate you guys watching and commenting and all the love I receive from all you guys. Thank you. Have a great day. Peace.